What's up guys, today I wanna to show you my export settings for Adobe Premiere Pro that I use for YouTube, Instagram, and even TikTok. So let's get into it, let's not waste time. All right guys, now that we're in the computer, I first wanna mention that each platform has their own different settings that I use. So YouTube settings will not be the same for TikTok, but Instagram and YouTube are fairly similar. So first I'm gonna show you YouTube and then I'll show you TikTok. If you'd like to skip to TikTok, here is the timestamp that you can skip to now. First thing we're gonna do is choose what we wanna export within our timeline. And how we do that is hitting I on our keyboard on the timeline for our starting point, O on our keyboard for our end point. And then next we're gonna go to export at the top left. And remember, we're starting with YouTube first. We're gonna name our file export. And of course you can name it whatever you like. And then location, I'm going to choose it in my completed projects. So I know where it's at when it's exported. Next, under preset, we're going to choose high quality 2160p 4K. And then under format, H.264. Next, for frame size, 3840 by 2160. I keep it at that no matter what resolution I film at. And then frame rate, I, it stays at 24. Next, we're gonna check off render at maximum depth and use maximum render quality. And then you see encoding settings. So for mine, I have it under hardware and most of you will want hardware encoding. But if your system that you're using is not up to par for Adobe Premiere, you may have to use software encoding, which just takes a lot longer to export. So anyways, now we're back to HDR graphics. We're gonna stay at 203. And here we are at bitrate. The most important part is bitrate. So for YouTube videos, I would like to do, or wedding videos as well, I like to do a VBR pass to pass with a target bitrate of 55 and a maximum bitrate of 65. The reason why you would choose VBR over CBR is dependent on what the project is. So this being a YouTube video, I'd like to maximize the quality while keeping file sizes manageable. Audio, we're gonna bring that down. Everything stays as default, 4800 hertz. Now bitrate, you would change to 320, and then that's it. Now if you wanna save this, you go to save preset, and I'm going to call this 2025 YouTube preset. And then boom, I can just go back to it for the next time I'm ready. And then when you have got your preset saved, we're going to export at the bottom right. So next, we're going to do TikTok. So TikTok's just a little bit different. I'm gonna show you the differences. First, we're gonna go to our preset. We're gonna restart it. We're going to high quality 2160, 2160p 4K. For format, I'm going to use H.265. Now we're at frame size. For TikTok, dimensions are different, same as Reels and YouTube Shorts. For that, we're gonna uncheck this box. We are going to use Custom, and we're gonna make sure this is unlocked. If it's not, you can only adjust one side of it, and it'll automatically adjust the height. Now unlock it, go to 1080 by 1920, and if you notice, it doesn't fill the whole frame. So we're gonna go to the scaling to the bottom right, we're gonna hit scale to fill. And now it's gonna fill up the entire dimensions. Next, of course, the same is render at maximum depth, use maximum render quality. The last change we're gonna make is going to be CBR. We're gonna change our bitrate encoding to CBR because I prefer faster exports for TikTok videos such as these. And it's larger file size, but it holds up within TikTok's platform. So CBR, and we're gonna keep it at 35 as the target, change quality to higher, and then export. And then that's it, now you're done. I hope this information helps. If it didn't, please leave a dislike, cause why not? You know, why not? And if it did help, leave a like, comment below what you would like to see next. Any questions that you may have, I'll be happy to answer and I'll see y'all in the next one.